And finally, I made my YouTube channel after tons of requests and putting my videos in Instagram stories. I thought uh, it is the time since I have a vacation. Now I have one more week of vacation. I thought that now is the most perfect time to start my YouTube channel. Uh, so here we go. This is our, this is my first video. Um, a little background about me. My name is Ahmed Bastigi. I am from Bahrain, from Al Had. Al Azima <laughs> from Al Had uh, from Bahrain. Um, currently, I work at Paradox Interactive as a mid-level concept artist. Um, graduated from um, um, Tisad University just last year uh, in uh, MA concept for concept art for games and animation. And I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you guys through a brief that I did for university. Um, I thought it might be like helpful for you guys to. If anyone wants to apply for the MA course at Tisad University, this will give you like a brief about like what what a what a module would look like. So what I'm gonna show you now is one of two modules that you do per semester. So we have a total of five. We have three semesters. We have the first semester, we have two modules. The second, we have another two. And in the final semester, we have um, the project, the final project. So I'm going to show you um, this. Um, I'm going to take you through this brief. Hopefully, it won't take a lot. I'm going to make it a little bit. I'm going to go fast through it. But uh, this brief was for a module called Character and Environment Design for Concept Art. So basically, they give you some IPs, which are from the from the 80s, and what you need to do is to take those briefs and um, and redo them for something that suits um, uh, for something that suits uh, the, today's uh, uh, what do you call it? Something that suits today's. Uh, uh, today's uh, audience so for example i chose um, out of the five i chose master of the universe and i chose the the today's audience as blizzard entertainment so i'm gonna take the ip of he-man and the master of the universe and i'm gonna make it to something that suits blizzard entertainment so i'm gonna take you through the process of thinking and uh, how we work uh, yani what what I did and uh, yani you know you will see as we go <laughs> um, so we started with uh, creating something that we called uh, mood board so you collect uh, photos of what you need to put in your work so in this case i collected some of blizzard work and some of joe mad and you'll see the influence of joe mad as we go in my artwork uh, i love the, his use of lines and his uh, strong uh, yani, his muscular characters and you know so uh, so we had to do five final pieces yeah, you could choose three characters, two environments, vice versa, but it's preferable that you do both. So I went with two characters and a couple of pets and um, some um, some environments. So as you can see, collected some mood board for He-Man, some mood board for Skeletor, and. Uh, I started so this whole thing that I'm gonna show you is about two months worth of work um, so I started with some initial rough sketches and some variations very fast testing so how it worked was we used to do this okay and we used to have uh, one weekly meetings with the lecturer so the lecturer would give me feedback like okay uh, by the way, the lecturer is called Dave Paget for this module, and he's an amazing uh, concept artist. Uh, you guys should check his art station and his Instagram. Uh, he he is a senior lecturer at Tisad University, and I learned a lot from him. So, what we did was, as I told you, like we did those, uh, we did those um, uh, initial sketches. Okay. And uh, once we were happy with them, 
then I went and refined the 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 the, the rough sketch to a more clean final line work as you guys can see and uh, I love to keep in mind how I present my work so yeah and even I paid I paid attention to to the glowy outline how would I place the character and how would I want to show and 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 Dave was telling us the whole time show your work like I, I, I and if you have something that you added details to make it big put it in my face I want to I want to see it you know don't hide your work and then blame me for not seeing it you this is your job as a concept artist to show to present your work in a way so the art lead or whoever or the company that you want to be hired from can see your work in the best possible way so it's your job to present your work and as you can see the influence from Joe Mad uh, I was studying him crazy and um, and uh, so yeah I thought like I have to draw his the, the he-man face from different angles and uh, I still didn't tackle any colors until here it's all like um, values black and white uh, this is uh, like study of the heads uh, eight heads for and an ortho sheet which helps the 3d modelers who will come after you and and uh, and yeah, you model this 2d piece of art so and then I went and added some initial colors uh, so da, 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 da. so yeah I paid a lot of attention to how I present my work um, like I wanted to put any to so yeah and what I did is was uh, after I had the values I would do a layer of color on top the colors on top of the gray values so I did some color variations I'm not sure that this work is two years back so Right now I can see tons of mistakes even in the choices of colors like who would choose those colors but <laughs> back then yani, you know you learn as you go but yani, uh, yeah so then we designed um, I, I decided to design um, his pet and I, I wanted to mimic uh, the blizzard style of the um, of the anatomy so I, I found like how the horses were made and tried to uh, to study from a real um, horse yeah. and you know combine both and as I said I always keep in mind how I would present the work so I'm gonna go a little bit fast through this so uh, you guys don't feel bored and yeah um, so more pushing more um, more color variations and yeah this is this is yani, when I applied my I was doing mostly anime work and uh, one of the first things that they told us that anime work is not accepted so you would have to learn <laughs> to learn uh, to do um, anything other than anime so basically western stuff so i wasn't yani, yani it wasn't my um cup of tea when i when i first started so i had to learn and now i feel like um my taste has kind of matured in a way so I, I, I in this two years journey I, I appreciate more work now and my my um, idols have changed through this journey so I you always improve as an artist and you I'm sure like in five years even my taste would would expand even more so but back then uh, um, rendering was not my strength uh, but I tried to push myself and I, I always told Dave like please uh, push me when it comes to rendering and I really want to improve at coloring and rendering. I was usually I was usually like before going to Teesside I was usually doing uh, line works. So yeah then I took it further and 
added a like drew a background and added a bear so I got this final uh, image I yeah <laughs> right now I can see uh, mistakes but that this is what I did back then so then I then I wanted to work with Skeletor and um, yeah so the same thing so I started with sketches went to rough sketches and ended with the final artwork uh, always keep in mind how you present your work it makes a lot of difference this guy I remember when I was working on him it was very tough I didn't I didn't use any aid of 3d or anything I only worked with sketches and line work so placing the armor and perspective and him moving and oh, this was very tough it took me any any it was a challenge to do this uh, but I'm happy with what I did especially with Skeletor the same thing uh, zoomed in version an ortho sheet always helps the 3D guys as we said some color variations okay and some pits so yeah I made a, a black panther and a huge T-Rex and added some spiky armors to show that you know the bad guys and uh, yeah I added uh, some more colors for the variations and yeah an armor for the dinosaur some color variations for the dinosaur and um, yeah this is the rendering part and uh, yeah I took I, t I so I the same as uh, what I did with He-Man uh, I placed some photo references and uh, added some you know some cheats in Photoshop and yes I added and I finally got to this um, to this blah, 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 blah. yeah this is the result and um, so I'm gonna stop here this is my first video ever so I'm gonna call it part one uh, I'm gonna finish another part for the environment for the next time I hope you guys enjoyed this and if it was beneficial in any way let me know um, this is my first video on YouTube and uh, hopefully I can keep them coming uh, thank you guys for your time and uh, if you uh, I'm I'm mostly active on Instagram so if you would like to follow me on uh, I'm, I'm, mo I'm usually over there uh, Ahmed a h m e d underscore al bastaki a l b a s t a k i um, at Instagram uh, so uh, Ahmed al bastaki this is my Instagram account I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the description so um, hopefully you guys find this interesting and helpful uh, thank you thank you so much for your time and i'm gonna see you in the next one thank you so much have a great day